See, this is probably where I am very different to everyone else. I don't do that. Okay. I don't compete against anyone else except for myself. So I go to every competition and I set targets that I want to hit. So if I go to competition and PB on every event and still come last, I'll be happy because I've improved. Obviously you don't want to come last, but you know, <laughs> you understand my point. My, my, my sole focus is to better myself. So from the last time I, I did something, I want to try and improve on it. Um, and that's my focus. I don't look at other guys and go, I want to beat him, I want to beat him. I would rather improve and not beat someone than underperform and beat someone. I've, I've, I've actually, I've won competitions before where I've not been at my best. And that to me, I, I'll watch it on TV and I'll just sit there criticizing everything I've done because I feel like I've let myself down. But when I go there and do the best that I can do, then that's all I can do. You know, I can't control what the other guys do. Adam Bishop yesterday was unbelievably good. Hixie was unbelievably good on these set of events. They were better than me. And I'll hold my hands up, I've got to go away and train harder. That's, that's my attitude, that's my philosophy. I've got a, you know, it's, it's only small margin, one rep here, half a second there on something, but I'll go away and put the work in. But I don't hate these guys. This isn't like fighting where we're kind of, you know, gonna beat the crap out of each other. I, I'm, I'm there to, to better myself. And I know, I know fans love the kind of rivalries and stuff like that, but I've learned to, if you, can, if you kind of worry about what other people are doing, you'll usually fuck up what you're doing you'll let someone else's kind of performance affect you. So I've learned over the years, and I'm not saying I used to, I used to be just like everyone else, you know, I'd, be, I'd see something, I'd let it get to me. Whereas now, you know, I've been doing this a long time, <laughs> and I, I don't know why I'm still doing it, but <laughs> it's, it's become like that just personal targets for me. I, I like to improve, I like, if, if I feel I'm still improving, I'm gonna keep going. If I get to the point where I feel that's the best I could possibly be, and I start slipping down, then it's time for me to retire. Right now, I still feel like I'm improving. I know as much respect as I have for the guys that beat me yesterday, I know with a different set of events, could have been a completely different result. And only five events, it's really difficult to say who is the best guy. You know, I'd like to see competitions with 12 events and, you know, maybe it would have to be spread out. Ideally, World's Strongest Man, for instance, 12 events with like the top 20 guys in the world battling it out to really see who's the best rather than five or six events. It's like, you know, like a snooker match or a darts match where they kind of just play a few legs. It's easy to, to beat anyone, but when you kind of go for the long distance, the, the real top guys will come through.